Okay, I'm just going to give you a run through of my uh, final year project, which is a Chrome based website for Waterford FC. So straight off here, this is the homepage here now itself where I have uh, recommended items for people to buy. So it's a shopping cart display option from the homepage itself. Um, if I want to add more um, or navigate through the website, I can use multiple different ways to sell. So here's the, the nav drawer with multiple options, as well as say the structure for um, the cart here. So this one here is a home jersey. I can click on here, I can go in here for more details. This is a quick to add to cart option itself, which will add it to, uh, to the shopping cart. So if you keep an eye up here, it's empty at the moment. If I just click on this, it adds the, we get brought to our shopping cart and then also adds it quickly to the cart here itself so you know it's added. So it was one, the quick add item only adds it once itself. But if we go into to the short, go to say tickets package, and say I want to go in and check this particular item itself as well. Uh, this gives me some details actually on the item itself and more images about it, uh, an overview of the ticket and then if I want to I can leave some reviews when I'm assigned in the user itself as well as other related items as, as well. So say on this one I want three tickets I uh, add to cart, I go up here there's two items actually added but it's by tw uh, two items itself uh, for 30 euro, 150 total, this is my shopping cart and then everything so far. If I go to checkout, then this is where um, if you're a returning customer or sign in, so to save time, I'm just going to sign in with a preloaded uh, details. So if I just uh, log in, uh, this is then your uh, checkout options itself here. And then so, uh, so I just need to fill in my details. Now, of course, I can still navigate through the website since I actually do have it added to the shopping cart, but I'll just go to structure. So uh, say I'll go for Ireland. Uh, yeah, that's name company that needed so since it's reloaded this is just preloaded information that uh, was already there since i'm a returning customer but you would just fill in, in this uh, details itself this is just a summarization of your cars and then a payment method itself so this one i just want to make a note of here is that i'm only making payments through available through paypal and you click on paypal it will bring you through to uh, paypal to make a payment uh, but to save time, I I won't be doing this because uh, I just have this in here. Uh, so I can do it on the presentation, but for now I actually have this uh, go around option itself, but I'll take that out. Uh, so details are confirmed, say after going through PayPal, this is what you're showing with in your cards. So this is actually uh, your uh, accounts details, your recent orders. This one here is actually something that was uh, previously done. And then this is actually the order we just made here since this is the time that's been running at. Um, and this is then again your address details and such things like that. So you can view your order and you can see the status where it's at. So you just placed the order, so of course it's not uh, being dispatched out for delivery, but that can be shed up. You can actually see which item you actually order and it'll bring you to where it is. Uh, but if you go to these options here, that's again back to my orders and see everything previously for that user. You can log out and sign in as somebody else, but then of course that's all the details only for a specific user. This is just club information and stuff. Uh, that's just saying your fixtures, your league table, and about the club. But what I'll do is I'm gonna go and go and show this option here, which is the admin section. Now this is only a uh, predefined uh, details that can be set up. So this is just for me. Uh, so if I log in, this is the back end of the website itself here now. Uh, so I have overall access to the entire website. So um, this is the categories, which is at the beginning of the page. What I need to show here is that if you go back to the home page where the users will see we have shorts, tickets, and jerseys. And if I go into then back to the admin section and categories, that is same thing here. I can actually delete them out or, or uh, edit them. And that's actually what you see in the um, the navigation drawer. But I'm going to just do a test here and I'm going to put in uh, socks and then I'm going to add that category. And then it's been added there. Uh, socks so I can edit or delete that again but with this is then again you get to view all the products that you actually do have for sale I'm going to just add one quickly so I'm going to say just socks for 2018-19 season um, just uh, anything for a product description for the moment and then again here's then where it's important that socks now is actually an option where I can add it in here set the price to say to 10 euro and then an image I'm just going to uh, pick uh, a, a basic image here so uh, I'm just going to pick the, the home shorts image itself actually. So I'm going to just pick that and then I'm going to press submit. It's been added in right here and I can edit or delete that from here but then if I go back to the main screen it's added in here and it's the only option there itself as well. But if I go back into the cart and I just remove 
remove it or delete it at the moment I'll just delete it and go home it's short sure, socks is still there not in there I can then remove socks either itself as well if uh, need be so if I just go back to categories not add view I will just uh, say set that to I don't know um, uh, I'll just put it down as test submit and I go home it's test but there's nothing in there of course I can add things into that stuff as well um, on the back end in itself is I can view the order so we made an order here previously when you were signed in on the other customer that was just made there probably around three minutes ago which was this one here and you can see that the payment has been made uh, since I have that quick button added in but that of course be made when it's gone through PayPal itself as well uh, I'll go process the order since the payment has been confirmed and then we have the correct details for that user I will then dispatch the order and say say out or delivery and then update status and then we see it's been dispatched but if I go home since I'm still signing as the other user instead of logging out first I go to my orders and can see that they've both been dispatched and you can see then it's been dispatched but uh, a comment then with details about when it will be arriving to this address here um, if I was to go into my orders there is also an option to cancel the order itself as well but then that's down to the clover details like that so this this message just sends the the, the, the admin section or the, the, use, the, the admins of the website the details about it, and then just contact details or things like that if it can be cancelled but that's just an option I said I just add in there itself as well uh, one other section then I want to show you here was the player section and there's some use for it this is a section I didn't get to work much on but uh, this is where I was going to use for the players um, so I just signed in there with uh, a, a details already uh, set up when you try and sign up for this you need to be confirmed by email address so um, I just receive uh, an email confirm your details but then you must be verified by the manager since this is used as an overall tool to manage uh, players so you get to go in you get to um, uh, edit your details in here and then this is what I'm going to use to say set targets so uh, as a player you're going to um, say just, I'm just going to put in run run more update these details itself and it's, it's, it's added in here um, and then that's just your about section itself as well but if I was to um, log out or I'll just log back in and quickly since I the details here. These are all the other players itself as well, and you get the few other details. But just to save on time, I'm just going to go to the manager section. I have the same details for that to log in. This here is uh, the manager section to view all the current players who've been um, verified or was trying to sign up or I give all hell pretty much to them. So this is just a Google API. Um, is charged us to show um, who's been registered, who's not, who's trying to sign up, as well as uh, seen here uh, as well. So there's multiple different options to see it, but if I go to view all users, this is everybody who's been trying to sign up, timestamped as well. When verified users is then, this is then where the manager can see the goals for their player and see this is the run more I just added in for that uh, particular player. Um, so this is then what the managers can use as an overall tool to kind of say no you there's no point trying to score four goals if you're run if you're playing as a as a, a goalkeeper but it, it was um, meant to be expanded upon more but i worked more on the shopping cart but i got a lot more implemented in the shopping cart there, but which was quite good uh say not verify players itself as well as you can actually delete out accounts to remove them itself as well as well as their, since their status is actually still pending try to be uh, added into the database and again this overall use of it so if you log out with the manager and then you just go home um that's all true options here so in essence that's uh, everything that's been added here but uh, uh that's um everything that's been working through the database with everything's been stored or uploaded or, or stored through here and at the moment it's all local database but this is all the information that's been added in here for tickets and things like that and removed so it's all using IX PHP and um, constantly refreshing and updating things so there's nothing will be out of the loop so I'll, I'll leave it at that and thanks very much for listening